Mic check one. You should do check. <laughs> Mic check. Mark Jacobs Beauty. Ready to go? Let's up, guys. <laughs> We're ready. We're ready. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with Gilbert who is the global makeup artist for Marc Jacobs and he created this beautiful look on me today. So take us through the look that you created. So this was all about the perfect glowing complexion and what I did is I used all of Marc Jacobs Beauty, their newest collection for summer. So there's a beautiful coconut glowing setting mist along with a bronzer and of course a beautiful highlighter called Two drops into you. Okay, so if you want to know how Gilbert achieved this look, then please keep on watching. Okay, so um, for our first step, we're going to uh, prep your skin with the Recover Perfecting Coconut Setting Mist. Mm -hmm. Now this guy is awesome because it's 24 hour like wear meets skincare. Mm -hmm. And you know, originally these are designed to be used after your makeup, but I love to use it before mm -hmm. because all because of all of the coconut milk and the water and all of the like hydration that it gives to the skin. Mm -hmm. So it features a freeze frame technology, so it's just this ultra fine mist. And I'm pretty like generous with it. Like I love to um, prep the entire body. So the cool thing is, you know, not only is it going to give this. Um, great hydration to the skin, but it leaves the skin with like a dewy glow. It smells amazing as well. Yeah, it has that, this amazing sensorial experience. And it's all natural fragrance, nothing is synthetic. So this is the original Undercover Coconut Perfecting Face Primer, mm -hmm. um, which we all you know love. So I'm gonna mix this together in the palm of my hands. And you know this is really about just prepping the skin ensuring that whatever we, we put on just blends a little bit more seamlessly. And from an artist-like perspective, you know, I prefer to use like primers that just give the skin more moisture. Does it have any like mattifying properties or anything? There's no mattifying properties, but um, what we do use is five forms of the coconut. Uh, so we really deconstruct it and we use the like natural sort of electrolytes that come from the water mm -hmm. to help hydrate the skin. So again, it's gonna plump, soften and look of fine lines. Um, the natural sugars from the coconut help to retain moisture in the skin, and then also act as a magnet to help um, foundation adhere, and then ultimately like, extend the wear. Okay, so next up is Dew Drops in Do You. This is part of the summer collection. Gorgeous. This is a, a really beautiful sort of golden peachy um, highlighter. That's amazing. Yeah, you can see that. Now, you can use this a couple of ways. You can mix it with your foundation, you can apply it before, you can um, be a bit more strategic where you place it after. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna show um, your viewers a few different ways that you can use it. Mm -hmm. So let's, here's like bare skin, and I apply it like before foundation. And here you can, you can really apply it all over because the idea is that you're gonna put foundation on top and then the, the glow will be a lot softer or a bit more subdued because the foundation is gonna like create a veil over it. But this is beautiful on the body, as you can see. I love um, Especially that. if you have this like warm tan going on. Yeah. And does that come in different colors or is that the only color it's, for now? Yeah, it's one yeah. shade. And it suits all skin tones. Yeah, the, yeah. Good, the great thing is, is that it is a universal color because this golden sort of peach really does flatter a lot of different skin tones. So whether you're the fairest of fair or like the deepest of, of deep, yep. gold and peach seem to always like be a big win. I'm glad you wore this top because it really yeah. like <laughs> showcases the summer it wasn't collection. wasn't intentional. <laughs> <laughs> Even going into like these cooler sort of winter months, you can still sort of extend the look of like that summer tan that you you know, that you work so hard to achieve. Mm -hmm. A lot of the times when you use like a powder bronzer, um, you can really dehydrate or dry the skin or even look artificial. Yeah. I love the unique formula from the Dew Drops because it's a gel creme. So it's this hybrid of a gel that gives you durability and then you get all the hydrating benefits of a cream. So on the palette here, I have a few um, of the remarkable concealers. And what I'm gonna do is mix the concealer with the dew drops 
to create sort of like an illuminizing sort of highlight under and around your eyes. Tiniest bit of the dew drops. And then I have a few different shades of concealer so I can really sort of customize and really add a lot of brightness and then sort of soften and like sort of fade it out a bit, if you will. And so I'm just using like a traditional um, concealing brush. This yeah. is called the Conceal. The, the shade that I chose for you, um, I have three, four, and five. So they do all have this natural sort of peachiness to it, which really helps to conceal and cancel out. And in this case too, I think less is more. You have beautiful skin, and I really want to like allow the freckles and stuff to sort of peek through. Mm -hmm. Just so it like ultimately looks really soft and really natural. Yeah. And so you conceal before you apply foundation. You know, I do a little bit of, of both. So I, I, I'll definitely work under and around the eyes and then apply the foundation. And then at the tail end of the makeup, I'll sort of step back and assess where I need to go back in and do any like sort of last minute touch-ups. The foundation I'll be using today is the Remarkable Full Cover Foundation Concentrate. Have you used this before? Yeah, yep. I love it. Yeah, this gives a full coverage. Um, what's amazing, it has 44% pigment, so it's twice the amount of coverage, mm -hmm. yet it's seven times lighter on the skin, and it provides 24-hour wear. Wow. So I'm gonna take beige light, because you're a little bit more fair, or you're lighter here than you are on the rest of the body. Yeah. Um, and I'm gonna mix it with honey light. So it's beige light and honey light. Mm -hmm. And remarkable, it is oil-free and waterless, so you just gotta give it a good, a good mix, a good yeah. shake. And then it features this dot applicator, so it's one dot, one dot of the honey light. I don't like it all over my face. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so I'm clearly using too much. Well, yeah, I guess it really is um, a preference, you know, like yeah. how much coverage yep. you want. But I'll generally start off with less and then gradually sort of work my way up. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. So let's see, I'm going to add a little bit more of the honey, honey light just to warm that up even more. Now with Remarkable, I'll be using the Face 3 foundation brush. So with this formula, you want to use something that's short and dense to really give you that airbrush sort of finish. And then just sort of blending it back and forward, so just buffing the foundation. And because it has such a, a high dose of, of pigment, you really want to um, ensure that you're getting the color match as close to your skin as possible. Um, it feels like nothing on my skin. Yeah, that's a really that's all of the innovation behind the, the formula. You know, full coverage foundations have have such a bad reputation of being thick and being heavy yeah. and being sort of like mask light. And that's the great thing about Remarkable is that you get beautiful coverage, but it's like paper thin and it's self setting too. So you really don't need a lot of like powder mm -hmm. to like set the makeup. Now that we've got the skin sort of nice and even and really sort of glowing, we'll go in using Tantastic, the limited edition um, Omega Bronzer, mm -hmm. and we'll add some warmth and some beautiful sort of soft dimension to the skin. Yeah. Okay? Sounds good. Now I'll use the bronzing brush. And what I love about this guy is the circumference of the sort of brush. So it has this really big rounded sort of edge and then it sort of tapers softly to a point. Mm -hmm. And again, this is designed to give you more of like a wash of color and more of a diffused effect as opposed to like a structured, you know, harsh contour. Yeah. So you can just go straight over that foundation and it won't move yeah. or anything, so mm -hmm. it's set. Because the foundation is like so thin, um, you don't have to worry about removing like what you just spent so much time like building up. Mm -hmm. So for those of you at home who are wondering about the actual um, Tantastic um, shade, it is more of a neutral cool. So it, re it, it really does flatter like all skin tones, but I find that it works best on, on individuals who are a bit more fair. Okay. Like if you're blonde and you have blue eyes, it, it's more of this cool sort of undertone. Mm -hmm. And so now I'm using the angled blush brush just to give a little bit more dimension to these like beautiful cheekbones that you have. So you really do see how um, the type of brush that you use really does affect the overall finish. Mm -hmm. So the big bronzing brush was softer and more diffused and then yes. again this, uh, because it's a bit more dense, will lay down some more product. Yeah. 
Let's do a little bit of um, blush to sort of um, finish up the complexion. Mm -hmm. And here's a really cool uh, tip that I like to share with a lot of like my clients um, when trying to select a blush. So I'm going to have you show your viewers like the inside of your lip. The inside of my lip. Yeah, just pull that down. And the idea is that we're trying to, we're looking at sort of like the surface tone. Um, and the idea is that you select a blush that's closest to that because we want to really mimic what's happen happening naturally within the body. So I'm going to go with Kink and Kisses. What color is that? <laughs> so it's sort of like a peachy sort of pink. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, so smile really big for me. Corner of the eye, corner of the nose. So think of like the letter L, where those two points meet. Again, it's really about applying it on the areas that, are, that have the most volume so that we really capture sort of the essence of, of youth. You know, we want it to feel really light. And of course, this is all about glowing, healthy um, skin. So there's really no like harsh, you know, angles. Everything is really soft and really diffused. And then at any point, if you sort of over apply or you feel like you have too much makeup, you can always use the Recover um, Coconut Setting Mist to help soften and really refine that. But there's good shine and bad shine, so um, we like good shine on the outer perimeter and we try to keep more, you know, the center of the face more matte. Mm -hmm. So now I'm going in using Finish Line Perfecting Face Powder. This is simply translucent, there's no color to this. And then I'll go in and eliminate some of the shine, like right in through the T-zone. It's simply translucent that's been pressed, which is great for like travel. You can use midday for touch up. Now that I've drenched you, mm -hmm. here's the infamous glow stick um, illuminating highlighter in spotlight. Using the warmth of your fingertips, this just gives the skin, um, you know, that beautiful sort of high strobe. Oh, beautiful. And you can use it on the decollete, on the shoulders. You know, glow stick is one of those great um, products to to whip out and use. This contains 50% um, silver and then 50% gold. Mm -hmm. So it is this beautiful sort of champagne um, color. Yeah. Turn to your left and then we'll hit the high of your cheekbones. So really no right or wrong way on how to use glow stick. Um, oftentimes, you know, I want the aliens to be able to see me from outer space and glow stick is definitely gonna be that product to allow that. This is the Enamored High Shine Lip Lacquer in Ra Ra. So High Shine um, Enamored Lip Lacquer, really known for uh, hydration, feeling really balmy on the lip, and of course providing a beautiful high shiny finish. And the peachy sort of coralness that um, Ra Ra has really lends itself to uh, making you look a few shades darker. So if you're really if you're going for that sort of summer tanned sort of look by simply using a lip gloss or a lipstick with a bit more orange helps to even add more warmth to the overall look. Mm -hmm. And I mean, there you have it. I mean, a really quick and easy way to achieve that beautiful summer glowing skin. Oh wow, that's beautiful. I love that. Yeah. If you love this tutorial and you learned something new from Gilbert today, then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more tutorials like this one. Check us out on Instagram on our handles below and I will see you next time.